Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is Sudhi Janeja from Brands and Biz, and we are again here with another talk show with an amazing business, local business, David Mullins. Hi, Welcome, David. Thank you, Sudhi. David, uh, you are one of the popular photographers in Wyndham. Thank you. The whole world knows you, <laughs> but sure there that. might be some people who want to know your story, what you have done, how long you've been doing photography, and before photography, what you used to do. Um, before photography, I was in the aviation industry for a long time, okay. for 25 years in fact. Uh -huh. I followed my father into that industry, but it wasn't suitable for me really. I didn't really enjoy it. Um, I'm, I'm very much a creative person, and so I've always done creative things outside of work. Mm -hmm and always running a small business outside designing things. And in 2014, I decided to walk away from my job mm -hmm. and work full time for myself and, and set up my small studio, design studio, and I haven't looked back since. So in the David Mullins uh, photography and 3D modeling, yeah. that is your business? Correct. Right, and uh, what are the activities or what are the products and services you offer in that? So originally I wasn't doing photography. Okay. okay that developed later. So my business used to be Relativity 3D. But okay. I, ch I changed the name. So I, I was a concept artist, so I create photorealistic models of 3D objects. So I help people develop their ideas. So people who want to develop a product, mm -hmm. where, whether it's a commercial item or it's a house or it's okay. a, a sculptural design, I work with their brief and I create photorealistic models and help them realize their vision. Yep. Um, through doing that, a client of mine suggested I got into photography because I was doing photorealistic work yep. and I understood light. And so I ventured into photography through that and um, I enjoyed it. Yep. And so I, I do both now. So I do the 3D design work and I do mm -hmm. the photography. Which one do you love more? Well, I'm a creative person, so as long as I'm being creative, I love, I love them both, really. Oh, yeah? You know, I love aspects of both. Okay. But as long as I'm being creative, that's really what makes me happy. Mm -hmm. and, and in terms of your journey since you started into your business uh, full time, what was the biggest challenge you faced? Well, when I was thinking of leaving the job, I, I believed that being good at what you do was good. It was enough to be in business, and I mm -hmm. learned very hard, the hard way that that is not enough, and that it's not good enough to be very, very good at what you do. You need to be a marketer, accountant. <laughs> uh, yeah networking and, and being good with people and I was none of those things. And uh, uh, probably uh, working in the business you realize those things and you're working and improving on all the areas. Well, and yeah, yeah, I have seen you uh, doing some amazing projects uh, and, uh, and contributing to the local community and the businesses as well. I, I believe that to be um, a successful business in the community. Um, I, it's, it's not fair, I don't believe, to span the business, social networking with my business if I'm not giving back in some way. Mm -hmm. And so that I, do, I do those projects, one, because I, I like doing them, but yep. two, it's a way of giving back to the community as well. Yep. And I have seen you contributing to many local projects, yep. to name some, for example, uh, Point Cook Pop-Up Park is there, you have done Faces of Wyndham, you have done, covered extensively all the local uh, events of uh, dance and cultural events like Holi, Diwali, and uh, your, your contribution to the local community is amazing. And uh, that was one of the reasons I thought probably it will be good to showcase David Mullins so that people can see the story behind the name, who's the person, what he does. And uh, in terms of photography, do you have any particular area of photography which is uh, uh, your specialization or expertise or you would do any kind of photography? Um, as a business, I do all of it. Okay. But I do love the portrait side of it. Hence, like, why I do faces to window. Mm -hmm. um, I'm naturally a very shy person, but I like to meet people. Yep. And so I like to, um, and through the, um, with a the, with the portrait, I need to get to, uh, people to open up so yep. I can take their portrait. I enjoy that. Yep. But other than that, I, I mean, I like landscape, but that's not really a commercial thing. Yep. And do you do events and uh, uh, family functions and maternity and newborn um, kind of things? I get well? asked to do all of that. Old. And you do animal photography as well. I know you've done some of the pets and those are amazing uh, photographs. Well, mostly that came out of COVID. Yeah. You know, like I, I didn't set out to do pet stuff, but yep. you put work out there and people see it and of course they want to do it. And, yep. and I think uh, everyone loves their fur babies. And for the yeah. fur babies, uh, I think uh, they would like to have a beautiful photo portrait or a photography done. It's funny, nobody, yeah, nobody ever um, questions price when it comes to their pet. 
Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And and uh, a lot of people think that David being such a great photographer will be very expensive. So I'll ask you a question directly. Are you expensive? Ah uh, no. Okay. No, yep. I, don't, I don't believe so based on my, my research and um, I, I like to go above and beyond with my clients so I'll, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll pretty often give them more than they pay for. Yep. So, so I, that's my personal experience as well that uh, the work which I have done with you I have seen that uh, uh, it's an amazing quality at a reasonable price I would say and uh, uh, that, that should put the myth away of uh, the people who think that David is going to be very expensive. He is not and he is amazing. The work is delivered on time and quality is amazing as well. Uh, David, uh, apart from your photography and uh, 3D modeling, what else do you do? Let's get to know the person a bit more. As hobbies? Yeah. Well, most of my hobbies are creative. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I do photography for a hobby, but I also paint. I like to paint. And um, you are a, you are an avid runner as well? I used to be, a very long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I used to run marathons, that was a long time ago. Yeah, and you are an avid dog lover as well? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And tell us a story about your uh, Kelpie. I mean, I had a dog before, uh, yep. but passed, uh, sadly passed away three years ago. And I, I wasn't ready to replace her. Until recently, a friend of ours um, had a young eight-week-old Kelpie that they wanted to rehome. And I really wasn't interested in And um, But I, I agreed that I'd go and have a look at it. Mm -hmm. And um, they asked me if I would take it home for a, uh, for a day. Mm -hmm. And I put a lot of conditions on it. And said, no, I'm not really interested because I have a small dog already yep. and I doubt she would like Argo. Yep. So I agreed to take the dog home and instantly those two fell in love. Yep. And it was such a, a lovely dog. Mm -hmm. And so then I said, uh, if I was to rehome this dog, it would have to be well, I'd have to be able to train it. Yep. And um, it listened to everything I said. Beautiful. And so, so finally you fell in love with the... the so by the end of the weekend, I, I agreed to adopt him. So, yeah. and, 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 I, and I do honestly say that dog helped me get through COVID. Beautiful. And, and uh, David, you do some other projects also. You're involved in some other community projects. What are those projects? As part of the team that developed the idea for the pop-up park. So I helped mm -hmm. them with a 3D visualization, which is what helped get it across the line with Stockland. And uh, you're part of any other local organizations uh, which are helping? Yes, yeah, so community? I was involved with um, a Rotary. Oh yeah? Yeah, um, and, and I get often asked um, by a lot of people to help in, in, in certain in projects. If I can, I will. Yep. Yeah. Well, thank you so much and keep the good work on and uh, we definitely uh, would see you going places and uh, achieving a lot in life. And uh, probably your story has inspired a lot of people who are watching it. And uh, we'll be bringing more uh, talk shows, business talk shows of local uh, businesses, successful businesses who are inspiring other people to go and uh, achieve more. Thank you, guys. We'll be ready with the next show soon. Thank, Thank you. you.